Thanks, Jyoti. Good morning. On behalf of my co-investigators, it gives me immense pleasure to share with you all the results of a randomized trial looking at elective versus therapeutic neck dissection in the treatment of early oral node-negative squamous cell cancers. This has been a matter of considerable debate in the head and neck community that has spanned more than five decades. Contrary to popular belief, oral cancer is not a disease of our part of the world in Southeast Asia, but affects both the developed and the developing countries as seen from recent Globocan data. In fact, it is seen anywhere where there is a high incidence of excessive consumption of tobacco and alcohol. Ironically, today is World No Tobacco Day, and what could be a better day than today to share the results of this study? The management of early oral cancers is predominantly surgical. The primary is treated with a small excision, and it's usually straightforward as apparent from this illustration. Controversy surrounds the management of the neck. There are two schools of thought. One school is the wait and watch, where they watch till the node develops and then do what is called a therapeutic neck dissection. They cite that there is no conclusive survival disadvantage by this approach and doing an additional surgical procedure would have morbidities, all surgical morbidities, including shoulder dysfunction, which may be unnecessary in up to 70% of patients. The second school do the elective neck dissection, and in their support, they cite better control and survival with this approach, and also the fact that both the primary and the neck are treated at the same sitting. So we went about to uh, answer this question, and I'm presenting you the results of the first 500 patients. The trial began in 2004 and ran through June of 2014. So all patients with early stage 1, 2 clinically node-negative oral cancers had excision of the primary tumor, and then they were randomized into two arms. One arm had the elective neck dissection, and the other were wait and watched, and they underwent neck dissection should they have relapsed in the neck. The primary endpoint of our trial was overall survival, and the secondary endpoint, disease-free survival. The highlights of the results of our trial. Elective neck dissection improves overall survival by 12.5% compared to the wait and watch approach and reduces the risk of death by 36%. Elective neck dissection also reduces the recurrences in the neck compared to the wait and watch approach by 55%. So our conclusions are that elective neck dissection should be the standard of care for early oral node negative squamous cell cancers based on the findings of our study. For every eight patients who undergo elective neck dissection, one death is prevented. And for every four patients who undergo elective neck dissection, one recurrence is pre prevented. I thank you for your attention.